Today we're opening packs from every year since Yu-Gi-Oh! has been released, 2002 to 2021. What's up guys, we're back with another epic video. Today we're opening at least one pack from every year from 2002 to 2021. There's some pretty rare packs inside, but first we do have a giveaway. I will be giving away two first edition Legacy of Darkness packs. I am not sure if there are foils in them, I did weigh them, but then later I opened foils out of these light packs anyway, so who knows, they're probably better kept sealed, but either way, like the video, be subscribed, and let me know what you think is gonna be in each pack. I spent over $2,000 to get all of these packs so there's some pretty good stuff inside let's start off with 2021 and see what the first pack is so this is the most recent year it is 2022 at this point the newest set does come out tomorrow at the time of recording this but it's still legit as of right now but it's okay it's just gonna be one more pack from uh it wouldn't be much mystery if you knew the only pack in 2022 so that's why i decided to just go ahead with it all right let's go grand creators you guys will be seeing that video before this actually so go check that out i did a two box opening gave all the polls away so hopefully we got something good red rain we got the trap tricks alamaris drytron delta altaeus oh Raphael, lord of phantasms neshadal ariel very cool and ghost mortar and moonlit chill that's another good pull so the neshadals go in uh, you know the deck we're playing on, on uh, master duel on to 2020 here we go we're already on the second year we're gonna end with 20 22 why can't i say it 2002 here we go toon chaos this is first edition i got this out of a blister so we know we are good to go could potentially pull the collector rare which would be pretty insane let's see if we can do that i think they're usually pretty early so we're just gonna go like this make it a little more interesting okay sangan we got the chaos zone very cool we got the code generator we have the uh, prog leo dark flare dragon destiny hero dn and Number 75, Bamboozling Gossip Shadow. That is kind of hilarious. Okay, 2019, and we're gonna start to get to more interesting stuff. I guess Toon Chaos is still really interesting, but like, you know, some older stuff that you guys are, ooh, Savage Strike. This is a pretty cool set from 2019 as well. All right, let's go for it, Savage Strike. Let's pull something good. Can we pull the Savage Dragon? I think it's only an Ultra in here, which could be pretty epic. Shirinui Style, Child's Play. Elemental Hero, Cosmo Neo. So we got the Fusion Fire. Incantation Exception and Subterror Guru. 2018 it is. Let's see what will be inside. We have a Flames of Destruction, another very good meta set. Inside Call by the Grave is a common. If you guys saw the mystery box video, that was pretty cool. There's also, of course, the Imperial, not Imperial, Infinite Impermanence. Not, we're not talking about Star Wars right here. Uh, Infinite Impermanence. There is the uh, Ghost Bell or the Defrag Dragon Crystal Keeper. Prompt Thorn. Oh, that's a cool card. Element Saber Nalu and then Revenge Red Executor. Okay, and we got a pick CL. Okay, so far, kind of eh. But when you do only open one pack at a time, there are chances you can whiff. But on a few of these, I actually tossed in a couple of packs, and this is one of them. We have an entire Duelist Saga Special Edition. There were three packs. I decided let's go ahead and open all three and see what we can pull. A pretty amazing set. This was right before Lynx came out. Oh, a Deep Sea Diva. This will be perfect for my Edison deck. I think I had gold rares or something, like gold letter rares, so they weren't too exciting. Ooh, Red Eyes Darkness Metal, another good card. Double Fin Shark, Dual Tanning, and Silent Angler, a very cool water monster. So, a uh, pretty good pack. Onto the Black Rose Dragon art. Just absolutely amazing looking artwork on that pack. So, let's see. We already have a Cyber Dragon. That's a good start. Sukiyomi, another good one. I think that's around like $6. Number 28, Titanic Moth. Number 70, Malevolent Sin, the Dueling Staple. And the Double Fin Shark. So another pretty good pack from Duelist Saga. You can always count on Duelist Saga not to let you down. I love how Malevolent Sin got an artwork. Was Malevolent Sin actually good, like, at that point? I don't know. We now have a Brianak. Very cool. That's pretty good. Pot of Awesome. I think this might be the most expensive card in the set. It's like $20. That's pretty good. Power Wall. Uh, sea Lord Am Amulet. And the Gozuki. That's a good zombie card, so... Pretty good, like two or three good cards in every single pack there. On to 2016. We still have several years left. So this this is not a long video, but it's long-ish compared to how we've been doing. Ooh, a Wing Raiders pack. I actually really like this set because of Auction Series. First edition Wing Raiders. It turned out to be pretty good for the sealed format. And it was always fun to see this, uh, you know, what you weren't expecting. Oh, never mind. That wasn't it. That was High Speed Riders. Okay, Wing Raiders. Don't know what this is. Then, oh, Road is in here. That's already a good start. Bottomless is in here. That's a good start. Wait, maybe it is the set. Karen Gorgon, it's just not all foils. It's a bunch of reprints, though. Number 66, we got a 
singing Lanius. If you guys saw the sealed only master duel, go check that out. That reminds me, the Raid Raptors. Make sure you guys check that video out. Dark Rebellion XCs and a Booby Trap E. Very cool. Yeah, so if you guys didn't see that video, go check it out. I did a little bit of a different thing with Master Duel. Uh, we did Sealed Only. It was really fun. All right, 2015. We're going all the way back to 2002. So we've got a lot of epic packs coming up. What could this one be? It's kind of a fatter pack. What do you guys think? It is Premium Gold 2. And you know we can pull some good stuff out of Premium Gold. Let's see if we can. All right. Cat Shark. Whoa, is that the secret? Oh, how many secrets are there? Are they all secret? There's a lot of cards in here. Oh my goodness. Blackwing Tamer. Cool. Uh, Junk Giant. Absolute King Blackjack. Or Backjack, I should say. Is sold Bell of the Underworld. Ring of Destruction. That card, I like these better than the Secrets, actually. This looks really clean. The Secrets are a little bit, you know, there's a lot going on. Ring of Destruction is awesome. Pot of Duality. Pot of Awesome again. That's probably worth a ton, too. Madolje Terim... Tiramisu. I, I couldn't say it, but that's, a, I think, another good one. Trap 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 Hole, Trap Hole Nightmare is usually worth something. Nef Nepenthes? Ceasefire. Wow, there's so many good ones. Starlight Road. Naturia Beast. Veil of Darkness. Look, wait. Oh, are those different? No, they're not. Wow, that was a, a really good pack. Gold Series is so good. Wow, that, that was fun. We need to open more premium gold, too. Maybe if we could get a box of that. I don't know if anybody has one, though. I've never, like, seen anyone selling one. Inside, 2014. What will it be? We're getting pretty old, like, seven, eight years ago now. Ooh, the new challengers. Let's see what we can find. We have a new challengers pack. Here is a Finn Rear Sword. Silver Every Samurai Soul Breaker Armor. Command Performance. Satellar Knight Procyon. The Shapina the Melodious Maestra. And then we got the Sword Sh Samurai, Super Heavy Samurai, Sword Shield Raw, Soul Shield. Yeah, okay, let's just keep going. Wonder Balloons, yeah. 2013. You guys remember 2013? Let me know in the comments what you think it will be. It is the Lord of Tachyon Galaxy. Very cool. Let's see if we can get some of those dragon rulers. I think they're only rare, so that'd be pretty cool. Uh, or Ghost Rare. That would be even better. All right. Shark Kraken. Legendary Atlantean Trident. Radius the Half Moon Dragon. Xyz Revenge. And... Okay, wait, maybe you didn't, did you get a rare and a foil in 2013? I don't know. We still got several years left, 2012. So that's like 11 years left because we're going to 2002. Let's see, it is Raw Yellow Mega Pack. This one's first edition. This is actually a very cool set. I know a lot of you guys really like this one. Let's see what we can pull from Raw Yellow Mega Pack. It's a reprint set. It has rare, super, ultra, secret in the pack. So let's go like this. Let's do a quick card trick we've got the kasha we get the rise of the snake deity system down magical mallet is a cool one test tiger is a cool common for sure chimera tech over dragon as a rare that's awesome dimensional prison that's a very cool ultra i think this card used to be kind of good it's not maybe it was okay in duel links i guess oh and a destiny draw we pulled this before out of legendary collection gx when we opened a couple of those recently we got a carbuncle necro shade and oh gateway to the six that's pretty good 10 years left we've basically been through 20 years so uh this is halfway point i guess what will be in 2012 or 2011 i should say Ooh, photon shockwave and inside we could pull the galaxy eyes photon dragon i still need this for my ghost binder so if we could pull it it'd be pretty epic i need all the unlimited so this would be perfect Evo Miracle, Ulti, Ultra, uh, Ghost, any of those. Shark Stickers, At Atrophic Control, Daybreaker, and I don't know if you get something else. Well, we don't in this pack, that's for sure. Watt Cobra, very, very cool on the 2010. We are sneaking up on those very old years. Let's see what we can get on our way, and once we get to the end, we have two packs Hidden Arsenal 3 and Hidden Arsenal 2. Both of these are first edition. I don't know if they came out with Unlimited for these. Let's see. I think the secret's usually at the front. Oh, yeah. Let's try not to ruin it. Probably just did. Let's go like this. I didn't see it, so let's see. I only saw what kind of a card it is. Gen X Recycled. Ally of Justice Unlimiter. Gen X Gaia. And Worm Queen. Okay, we got ourselves a Worm Queen. That's pretty funny. Worm Queen. Yeah, these Hidden Arsenal are kind of weird. There were seven different sets of them. So they're kind of... They're not super popular, but there was a lot of different ones. So we, it's kind of nice to have these in here. Just remember them. Dragoonity Tribus. Naturia Fruitfly. Fabled Arostus. And Locomotion R Gen X. That card looks kind of sick, actually. Yeah, that, that looks pretty cool. We're officially into the sub-2010s. We're into the 2000s. 
2009, we have a Raging Battle pack. And you guys know we've had crazy luck with these Raging Battle. Let's see if we can pull something good like a Ghost or Ultra Rare. Uh, Ultra Rare even. Here we go. Evil Thorn, that used to be a crazy common. It was very expensive, like six, seven dollars. Crimson Fire, we got a Black Wing Shura, the blue flame. Kwaki Mirror Guardian, and Tore Apart. Okay, Mirror of Oath. So that is just a rare. 2008. What can you do for us, 2008? We have. Oh, you guys might recognize this one. Crossroads of Chaos. This is a pretty nice set. Ghost Rare Black Rose, never pulled it. Never. I have a PSA 10 first edition. Still never pulled the Ghost Rare. <laughs> I still want to pull it. All right. Goes and match. That's like a three or four dollar card. Good start. Botanical Girl. Very good. Got the teleport. Oh, no. The Ruxin special to the trap of the Imperial 2. Oh, there's an Ultra Rare by behind it. Oh, you do get one. Doom Kaiser Dragon. Oh, okay. Could have been Black Rose, but we'll still take this. I really like the artwork on this. I think it looks really, really nice. That's pretty sick. If that was an ulti, that we would have really lost it. Giant Trap Hole and Zombie Mammoth. Like six more. 2007. What will be in 2007? We have two packs. What could it be? Two packs in 2007? Dark Revelation 4. Oh my goodness. And if you guys didn't see the video where we pulled the satellite cannon, go check that out. We opened a bunch of packs for Kaz. It was insane. If we could pull another secret rare, I'd be happy. DD Assailant, we will absolutely lose our minds. Let's see. Maybe we do a couple to the front just to make it more suspenseful. Level modulation. These are very expensive packs. Like, I think it was $250 for the special edition with two of them in it. So $125. Spark Blaster. We got the VW Tiger Catapult. Neo Bubble Man. Some of these commons are actually worth something. Uh, Dis Disciple of the Forbidden Spell. We got a Dark Catapult. Battery Man D. This thing will sneak up on you, so I don't know when it's going to be. Oh, a BES Tetran. We actually got a hollow. Not a guaranteed hollow in these. They're pretty hard to pull. Uh, this is probably not one of the good ones. It's BES Tetran. <laughs> I don't think anybody's ever actually played the BES cards. I'm saying that someone is going to be like, dude, I loved those back in the day, but seriously, they were trash. Okay, but that's not it. We have two packs from 2007. We have another Dark Revelation 4, just for a little bonus for you guys, so you guys get to enjoy it a little bit more. Okay, let's go three this time. Magnet Circle Level 2. We need a Seeker Rare. Those are crazy in this set. Emergency Call, good card. Symbol of Heritage. Oh, we rucked some special past the Catapulter. That's fine. He catapulted out of there. <laughs> Jetroid. Okay, that was terrible. Blade Skater. Desrog with a three in the middle. Ebon Magician Karan. Oh, a dark deal. Just a regular rare. Dark deal. That's how I feel when I spend $250 on those. We get a BES Tetran and a dark deal. That's all right. We're moving on. 2006. What can we pull from 2006? Who was playing or uh, into Yu-Gi-Oh! in 2006? Make sure you let me know in the comments. Here we go. We have, ooh, first edition Power of the Duelist hobby pack. If you guys check that out, we opened up an entire box worth of these like about a week ago, about a week ago, uh, and it was pretty awesome. So let's see if we can pull something crazy. Inside, we could pull Dark Neos, which I said in that video was like $1,900 and a 10. It's actually 5,000. Yeah, I was completely off. I got completely confused of what I was talking about. And yeah, so we could potentially pull a $5,000 card. That would be even better. What do you guys think? Let's do it. Yeah, what do you guys think? <laughs> Rallis, we got an Alien Skull. Royal Wit, Writ of Taxation. Ambulance Rescue Roy. Alien Gray. The Accord Connection Zone. Fossil Excavation. Oh, an Ultimate Rare! Ultimate Tyranno! So we did get an Ultimate, and it's also an Ultimate Tyranno. So it's a double ulti, ulti squared. That is pretty amazing. Woo! Ultimate rare pull. All right, that was pretty sick. That was nice. Okay, 2005. Can we possibly top that? What can we get in here? We have... Ooh. Tournament pack six. What will be inside? There's only three cards in these packs. And are the ratios on here? Let me show you guys. For tournament packs, they were given out for people who were playing in tournaments. And you would get only a few cards. There's 11 total commons, four total rares, four supers, and one ultra. One out of 108 for the ultra. One out of 18 for the super. Let's see what we can pull. The ultra, I believe, is Toon Cannon Soldier. Some of the supers are... I think all the supers are reprints, actually, from other tournament packs. So let's see 
Will it be at the front? We're just going to do that just in case. Okay, Ryu Senshi, very cool common from this. Worth a couple of bucks as a go format. Sousa Soldier. Okay, Sousa and Clown Zombie. This is how I feel. Clown, three more years remain. 2004, 2003, and 2002. Let's start with 2004. What is inside? Oh. First edition Invasion of Chaos. And yes, I pulled this out of a blister myself. I bought a blister just to make sure that it would be unweighed. So I don't know if that... I think that probably means we cannot pull Chaos Ember Dragon. But that is okay. Because BLS is still in here. Demox still in here. Dimension Fusion still in here. There's a lot of good cards that we would want to pull. So let's pull this out carefully. One of the rarer packs we've gotten so far. So let's do three, I think. Here we go. Terror King Salomon. Yeah, this was even more expensive than the DRO for both of them put together. So we got the rice, rice cycle. <laughs> a hero emerges. Zero gravity. These look very similar. Like, they look like they might be the same dude. I don't think they are, but it's interesting. Chop Man, the Desperate Outlaw. Yellow Luster Shield. Burning Algae. I told you guys this card loves me. Levia Dragon Daedalus First Edition Ultra Rare. This thing looks minty. Are we going to grade this? I think we are going to grade this. The centering looks good. It's minty. It has a little bit of a foil shift at the top. You guys can see that little white line right there. Very top like going across. That is very cool. I think we might grade this card. Wow, some good pulls coming from these cards. I think this card's worth like 10 bucks, which is hilarious compared to like how much we spent on the blister. If we graded a 10, I think it would actually do okay. Multiplication advance, I think, has value as well. All right, that was sick. Like, I know it's not worth a ton, but that's still a really cool ultra. I mean, just imagine if it was a BLS or a DMOC. Like, we've been crazy. Here we go, 2003. That was fun to open that. It has been a while since we've opened first edition IOC. Not really that long, but it's been a little bit. What in the world? Okay, this one's hanging out at the top. We have... Legacy of Darkness, Old Faithful. We have opened many of these first edition packs. Sometimes treats us kind of poorly, though. Let's see if we can get a secret rare injection fairy lily. I think... No, the last time we didn't get one. We got one with Leon Hart, but then I think we got another one later. So let's see if we can do that again. All right. Let's go. Soul Demolition. Convulsion of Nature. Woodland Sprite. Oh, this card. Burst Breath. Very cool. Look at that breath. I mean, just nice artwork on that trap. Frontier Wiseman. Possessed Dark Soul. Super Rejuve. And... Oh, an Exiled Force! Yes! Another foil. We're actually having good luck out of one pack. Like, you're usually getting one foil every four or five packs in Yu-Gi-Oh! And we pulled an ulti. We pulled an ultra out of Invasion of Chaos. We pulled a super out of Legacy of Darkness. This is awesome. And the final pack. If you guys have enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe. Because we will be doing more epic old school openings in the future. As well as Master Duel and other cool dueling videos potentially. We have a... What do you guys think this is? Leave your comment. First edition Legend of Blue Eyes. Yes! We could get the Blue Eyes White Dragon. The blue eyes inside here is worth somewhere between sixty and hundred thousand dollars if you get a PSA ten. The market has come down, so maybe more like sixty or something like that. Let's see if we could pull something insane. So not just the blue eyes, but there's a lot of other good cards that we would want and we would take as foils. Let's do the card trick, and let's not ruin it. So we'll leave one extra just in case. We have a tie hone. Even these commons are worth a few bucks each. So tie hone, very cool. Centering is not so good on them though. Enchanting Mermaid. The Man Eater. Very cool. Man Eating Plant with Power Feelers for attacking enemies. Power Feelers. Okay. That's what you call those? <laughs> Your hobby? Oh, power Feelers. We've got the Two Mouthed Dark Ruler. Hinotama. Very cool card. You know, throw those fireballs, do 500 damage. Very nice. Armored Starfish. Yeah. Yeah. Gage was using this in progression too. That was funny. And is it next? Is it next? Oh no, it's a fusion. Carbonala Warrior and Succubus Knight. Oh, the pain. Carbonala Warrior, very cool. We got Dark Fire last time we opened one of these. It was, yeah, that was better, I think. I think that's worth a little bit more. This is still like, I think maybe an instant fusion target too. So overall, not bad. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic videos coming up. Shout out to TCG, Trust Cards, Stonefo Show, Tomato Juice, No J, Stanley, Mike, Nance, Mimic, Gecko, Duel Scheme Cards, Spanky McFarlane, G Raider, and Daxter. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.